iLock Cloud allows us to run our iLock protected software without an actual iLock connected or without our computer being authorized with an iLock license. So in this video, let's take a look at iLock Cloud. Here we are in Pro Tools and currently my iLock version two is plugged in. Obviously Pro Tools is going to operate as it always has. Uh, be able to open any of my plugins that are authorized by iLock. Everything works just fine. So let's go ahead and close down this session and we'll start a new session authorized with iLock Cloud. So let's pull up our iLock License Manager. I already have it open right here. Here it is. First thing you need to do is sign in, of course. Now I am signed in and you'll notice here some of these plugins have this iLock Cloud emblem in dark gray or highlighted, however you prefer to look at that. Now, not every manufacturer currently supports iLock Cloud. Hopefully more of them will come on uh, in, in the future, but Avid is really good about this, uh, by the way. They support iLock Cloud for a lot of their plugins and for Pro Tools. That's right, for Pro Tools. So if you forget your iLock, you don't take it with you. As long as your license is in the cloud, you can actually log in to any computer and you can run Pro Tools even if you forgot your iLock. So the first thing we need to do, since I only have one license, I mean, I actually have two licenses for Pro Tools, but if I wanna use a cloud session, I need to pull the license I have authorized on my uh, on my iLock, I need to pull that off and put it in the cloud, okay? So we'll come to my iLock version two because that is where my uh, Pro Tools license resides, and right here it is. And this is very important, one of one activations. If I have something like Reverb One or Revive here, these have multiple activations. Guess what? If you have multiple activations, you can actually leave these, uh, you know, say one activation on your iLock, which you might keep in your studio, and you can still log in on a different computer and actually run these uh, as a cloud session. You don't have to actually pull this license. I don't have to pull this license here off of my iLock version two in order to use it on, say, a Surface or a laptop that I log into. So that's pretty cool. But for Pro Tools, uh, we do because we just have one activation. Now I can, I can right click, deactivate, I can double click and deactivate. There's a lot, lot of different ways to uh, deactivate things here. We could select the license, hit this X up here, or what we can do is just grab it and drop it right into your account. It does the same thing. All right, confirm deactivation. Deactivating it is pulling it off of my iLock version two and putting it in my account, okay? My iLock account, so it's not gonna be activated. Again, you don't have to do this if you have multiple activations that are unused, but because uh, I only have that one authorization, then I need to pull that off if I want to actually log in, okay? So I'll come back to my account, just click that, and I can go to available, just so we can see what is available. So right here is, uh, actually this is the one here we'll be using here. This is in my account, it's not activated, it's, it's available, you can always double click and see if it's activated, where it's activated. So zero of one activation is very good. Hide those details now, all we need to do is open Pro Tools or whatever other software you're using. Again, this works for, for plugins as well, but let's go ahead and minimize that. We'll pull up Pro Tools here and look what happens since we don't have an authorization on our actual iLock. We're gonna get a different kind of prompt here. There we go. Pro Tools, iLock enabled, iLock cloud enabled. Let's click activate. I go ahead and log in to my account there. You'll have to log in. This is sort of like a reason if you have per, uh, if you have reason from propeller heads, how you will log in on different computers uh, if you don't have that computer authorized. Just hit next, open a cloud session. I'll just pause here for a minute so you can read that if you want, just pause the video. I'm not gonna go through this. Hit okay, because we want to use, you know, we want to use cloud. If I clicked no, then I could uh, activate uh, an iLock, right? Let me hit quit there. We'll do this over again. Just wanna show you everything here. So if you want to uh, authorize uh, Pro Tools this way, and actually authorize the iLock, just hit no there and then choose your iLock. All right, go back to activate, log in again. We want to do cloud, okay. And there we go. Open cloud session success. So your cloud session was successfully open. Now this is important, licenses activated to iLock Cloud are available only on the computer that opened the session and only if you remain connected to the internet. So we will have to remain connected to the internet. Your cloud session will remain open until you close it in iLock License Manager or open another cloud session from a different computer. It remains open if you reboot your computer. So 
your cloud session will remain open. Let me, let's pull up the iLock license manager again here. And you can see right here, cloud, 33 activations. It actually activated, uh, which we'll take a look at here in a, in a minute. It activated other plugins here that, are, that were available. It activated them with the cloud instead of using the one on the uh, uh, iLock. And again, we'll look at that in just a second. But right now, let's go ahead and open this up. And by the way, it is also uh, important to remember this this remains open even if we reboot our computer and we don't actually come in here and you can right click and do close cloud session. You can come up here to file and uh, close the cloud session there as well. It's not a big deal if, if you forget, you know, uh, as soon as you log in on a different computer or something, it will close that cloud session for you. Not a, not a big deal at all. Let's go and click next just to show you that everything opens up, uh, opens up just fine. And here we are in Pro Tools at our familiar dashboard. All of this is exactly the same. We can start a project or a session, create a new one, or go to a recent one, perhaps. We can open this up uh, just as this is the same session we had uh, that was authorized by our iLog2 whenever we opened the video. So we can pull this up and everything will work just fine. And there we are. I can play back and all of this, of course, will play back. Now I don't have the audio hooked up, but this is playing back uh, just fine. Everything works. My plugins work. Very cool. So let's see what's happening here. Let's go back to our iLock license manager. And we can see here whenever we click cloud activations, what is activated on the cloud? We, we can see we have 33 activations. All right, and this is all the stuff that is being activated via iLock cloud. Even though I have, uh, I believe all of this stuff, except for the Pro Tools, I uh, actually have it on my iLock version two here. Uh, it went ahead and activated those via the cloud. Now I can still use all of my other plugins that are activated on the iLock. So for example, little primal tap is activated on my iLock version two, which is plugged in, by the way, I could come in here and that's a sound toys plugin, correct? And uh, any of these here, uh, we'll go a little alter boy here, and this will come up just fine, activated via my iLock version two. And there it is. So I'm showing you this just to show you that you can mix and match uh, your your plugins. If you have some things on an iLock version two or authorized directly to the computer with iLock, guess what? They will both work. So this compressor is activated uh, via our uh, iLock cloud, and this is our actual iLock key. Okay, so you can mix and uh, mix and match that. Everything works just fine. All right, and we'll hop back into our iLock license manager because I want to show you this as well. If we come back to my account here, you can see that. Uh, let's go to something like, well, let's go up here to this compressor, actually. Let's just click Publisher Name, Avid, and we'll find that uh, compressor. So now it's showing two of three licenses activated. Now, if I double click on this, or I can click Show Details, either one, you can see where this is activated. Two of three activations used. Activation location is my iLock version 2, and it's activated on the cloud. So cloud active, iLock version 2 active, okay? So you can always click on those and see exactly where they are activated at, okay? Let's go and hide those details. And by the way, as soon as I say right click here and close this cloud session, all of those licenses that I have multiples of, okay, those, those will go back to only using one of three because I only have this activated on, uh, on my actual iLock. It's just, they're just temporarily being activated via the cloud. So that means if I happen to have two licenses for Pro Tools, which I actually do, I could load up my surface, for example, and log in with iLock cloud. And I could have all of these like pro compressor, expander, limiter, whatever, all of that activated via the cloud. And I could also have my other pro tools license say on, on my key here and have it on this computer. And I could still activate pro tools being that I have two licenses and I could also activate all of uh, these plugins because I have multiple activations. Okay, if you only have one activation, you have to make certain it's deactivated from an actual key or, you know, from the computer. It has to be in your cloud. But if you have multiples, then, uh, and, and you have multiples free, you know, if, if all three of three are used, obviously you can't, you know, you can't just log in and use it. There has to be at least one free for you to log in uh, and create an iLock cloud session. Now you can only have one iLock cloud session. If I log into my Surface, guess what? It's going to close down my current cloud session. Okay, so you can't log in in two places, but technically if you have multiple licenses, then uh, you could uh, have uh, both of them running at the same time. That does go against the terms of service. I'm just telling you because you wanna know, does it work? Yes, it works. Should you do it? No, you shouldn't. Does it work? Yes, it does. You know, those are two completely different, uh, uh, different things, but 
that's what's what's uh, going on uh, here. So now you're probably wondering what happens if I lose internet connection. Well, the best way to show you that is to cut off the internet. All right, the internet has been cut off. We're still able to use Pro Tools. See down here, we have no internet right now. And if we wait just a while, we will end up getting a uh, an error message here or a, a pop up message. So let's just wait a little bit and see what happens. So it's been a couple of minutes just checking in here and we're still able to use Pro Tools here. Still able to manipulate our plugins and whatnot, but trust me, an error message is coming up. So we'll go back to, uh, to waiting. And there it is. I told you an error message was coming up and here it is. Error, missing pace authorization for Pro Tools. Please reinsert your iLock or reconnect to your cloud session in the next five minutes or you must save and quit. Now, if I hit save, that's gonna save and quit. If I hit quit, it's just gonna quit, all right? If I close this out, guess what? I still have to save. So what I would need to do is connect back to the internet if I wanted to keep going and make that error go away. Uh, but let me hit cancel here. That's still gonna, see, that's still gonna close down. So make sure you save uh, whatever you press there, hit save. Now what you can do is reconnect to the internet and that, uh, that error will go away. But now it's gonna save and close down. And then we'll look at our iLock license manager so I can show you that that session is actually still open. All right, so Pro Tools closed down. iLock license manager is now giving us an error. Internet connection unavailable. Of course, we know that because we're not, you know, we're not connected. Okay, so, and that ends up closing our iLock license uh, manager because we get that error of, of something missing. Let me open it back up here. And you can see right here, cloud, we still have those 33 activations. We still have that activated in the cloud. So we actually have to uh, close that out. Right click, we can right click this or come up to file and close that cloud session. But because software component unavailable, which sometimes happens whenever you don't have internet, it ends up closing itself. So let me go reconnect back to the internet. Okay, so we are reconnected back to the internet. Let's open up our iLock license manager again. And you can see we still have those 33 activations in the cloud. Let's go ahead and sign in here. And now we can right click here and close this cloud session. We could also open up Pro Tools again uh, and start a new cloud session if we wanted to or log into a different computer and that would uh, close this cloud session here automatically and open up a uh, and open up a new one. I'm just showing you that even though we close Pro Tools, the cloud session is technically still open here. And if we check our actual activations, my account and available, you can still see that a lot of these, we have two of three activations are still being used when it should just be one. That's because again, they're still activated uh, with the iLock Cloud. So I right click this, close the cloud session, there we go. The cloud session has been closed. All cloud licenses have been deactivated back to your account. Okay, so they're all in my account now. So then let's go back to my account just by clicking my name up here. And you'll see that all of these now, one of three use, but that's because I have them on my actual iLock version too. Okay, so that is iLock Cloud. Yes, you need to remain on the internet. If you lose internet, try to get reconnected. Uh, if you click anything in there, you will have to save and close. So be sure to you know reconnect back to the internet uh, instead of clicking anything. And I can show you that if you want, because I want to show everything here. Let's go ahead and start a new cloud session. We'll open up Pro Tools again. We'll disconnect from the internet and then uh, reconnect. So let's go ahead and go through this again. All right, go back to recent. We'll open the same session here. Just open this up and wait for it to open up for us here. All right, so Pro Tools is open. I'll go ahead and disconnect from the internet again. And now we are disconnected from the internet. Let's try to load up a plugin here that's authorized with, uh, with iLock. Let's see, uh, with iLock Cloud, I mean. I'm sure, let's see, probably Revive. Let's open this up here. Let's see if it lets us open this up. There it is, it actually lets us open it up. Now, this is the error that you will usually get. The reason why it worked for me is because I actually have multiple authorizations and one of those authorizations is on my iLock 2 and that is plugged in. So that's why it worked here. But if the only authorization that you are using is in the cloud, then this is the error that you will get. So we'll just wait a little bit here. It's been a couple minutes while we're waiting. Let's open up uh, the iLock license manager here. Let's see what this shows us here. This is gonna try to connect to the internet. So no internet connection there, obviously. Now, if we if we came in here and we close our cloud session, that of course would trigger that same 
you know, that's the same problem. So I have to go through this here. Get this out of the way. Let's just wait uh, for this error to come up. We can still use Pro Tools. I can still, I can still play back. Still use my plugins. Just waiting for it to give it the ping and see if it's still authorized. Be a couple more minutes here. All right, and there is that same error. Now this time, instead of clicking anything, we're going to reconnect to the internet. And you saw what happened there after we actually uh, reconnected to the internet. It automatically noticed that we reconnected and it restored our licenses. So your license has been restored. Click OK, and guess what? Continue using Pro Tools, no problem. So if you uh, end up getting disconnected and you get that error, don't click anything, otherwise it's going to close down. Uh, go ahead and reconnect if you can. If you can't, go ahead and, you know, of course, save, uh, save everything. What happens if we close our cloud session here before closing Pro Tools? Well, let's find out. We can choose cloud again. We can right click or file and close cloud session. Same thing either way. Right click, close the cloud session. Bada bang, bada boom. Our cloud session has been closed. All those licenses are deactivated back to our account. Operation is still in progress there, hit OK. All right, and minimize that. Guess what's gonna happen now? We're still gonna be able to use Pro Tools for the about five minutes or so, but then we'll eventually get that same error that we don't have the licenses and we would have to uh, uh, basically reconnect uh, uh, to, to the cloud. And there we are, the same exact error message that we would need to insert our iLock, reconnect to a, to a cloud session. We are online. Uh, well, let's go here and open a cloud session, actually. There we go. Cloud session opened uh, successfully. So a cloud session has been opened from this machine. All eligible cloud licenses have been activated to the cloud. And then that same message uh, we got previously there. And we'll just hit OK here. And guess what? Boom, your license has been restored. So that would also happen if you plugged an iLock in to your computer. Okay. So you can always reopen that cloud session. You can, you can always re, uh, reconnect to the internet um, uh, or plug in an iLock and that will restore your session without having to you know, save and close Pro Tools and then reopen uh, a new cloud session. And finally, what would happen if we were logged into Pro Tools on a different computer and then tried to log into a cloud session on this computer? So I'm gonna head over to my Surface and log in uh, to Pro Tools on that computer and then we'll come back to this computer and see what happens whenever we try to log in here, okay? Let's go ahead and close this session down though, so I can log in over there. And of course, not forgetting to log out of uh, our cloud session here. Not that I have to, it would actually automatically log me out, but we'll go ahead and close that session right here. Very good. Now I'll head over to the surface and we'll log in over there. All right, and now we're in here and let's just go and open up a session. Again, we're activated with iLock Cloud on, on the surface in this case. Very good, there it is, comes up just fine. Now, of course, I could go into the iLock Manager on this computer, and it would show me the same things that it's gonna show me in the iLock License Manager uh, in this one here, or at least, uh, at least it should. Let me open it up again here. You notice it doesn't say anything about cloud, but if we actually go to all activations, we can actually see down here, uh, for example, right here, this is currently activated on the cloud, coming down here, this is activated on the cloud, and you can double click, you can see that there, cloud, and uh, iLock version two, okay? And my Pro Tools authorization is activated, oh, let's see, here we go, cloud, cloud, okay, cloud right there. All right, so we are activated on the surface. Now, what if we try to open Pro Tools on this computer and activate via the cloud? Let's check that out too. And there's our screen, so let's go ahead and click uh, Activate. Go ahead and hit Next. And open a cloud session. And let's look what happens to uh, the session that we already have open here. So close other iLock cloud session, and it notices my Surface. It says your account already has a cloud session open on a computer named uh, Surface. So click OK to close the other session, and open one on this computer, the cloud licenses, uh, will no longer be available to the other computer if you do this. Click the no button to leave the existing uh, cloud session open. So you can only have one cloud session running at a time. Now, if you have, again, if you have multiple licenses, uh, which I do for Pro Tools, and 
you saw all those other plugins that we have multiple licenses for, I could actually have uh, this computer running uh, with a Pro Tools authorization and with say the Pro Compressor authorization on an iLock, and I could actually have that open here as well because I have multiple licenses. We'll look at that uh, last, but we'll go ahead and click OK here just so we can see exactly what happens. So we opened a uh, cloud session uh, successfully uh, on our main computer here. And on our Surface, we can still use it. We're eventually going to get that same error message though about not having an authorization. I'll just leave the camera on it here and we'll go ahead and let uh, uh, Pro Tools open here on our main computer. And there's that error right here. Uh, on our surface, we got that while the other Pro Tools session was uh, opening up. All right. So we actually have to close this down, or we could try to reconnect the cloud to this license, and that would, uh, or to this, you know, to this session, and then that would, of course, close this one. So again, only one cloud session, uh, you know, per, uh, per account. All right. So I can open this one up. Of course, I really can't do anything here, uh, but save or quit because we closed that down. So that's what's going to happen if you try to open up two uh, cloud sessions. Uh, on one account, you're going to have to close down one. And lastly, I think I said lastly before, but this will be lastly, we're actually going to open up Pro Tools, uh, because I have two licenses for Pro Tools, we'll open it up uh, on each on each device. And then we'll actually have a cloud session running uh, with uh, with uh, some of like the Pro Compressor plugin, for example, which I have multiple authorizations for. All right, so back in the iLock license manager, I'm looking for my Pro Tools, this is the one I want. So this one, it's not activated uh, anywhere, zero of one activations used. I'm gonna take this one, I believe this is the one I want. Yes, it is. I'm gonna activate that to my iLock version two. Okay. All right. And then you can see I still have this Pro Tools Ultimate subscription bundle. So this one is also cloud activated. So that means I can log on with onto uh, my Surface using this license. And because we have multiple licenses for say Pro Compressor, only one of three is used and that one is currently on my iLock version two. So I can actually use that second license to activate via the cloud on another computer. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up uh, Pro Tools again. This time it's not going to ask us for any kind of authorization because they're all on, uh, they're all on our actual iLock key. And while we're letting Pro Tools load here, let's go ahead and launch our cloud session on the surface here. Go ahead and get this going both going at the same time. Again, I have two licenses for Pro Tools. You have to have multiple licenses for this to work. Okay, you can't do it with just one license. Not gonna work. All right, I'm going to open this cloud session here. Very cool, very cool. And let me go ahead and just open the session here on our main computer. And we'll head back over here to the surface, go and click next there. Okay, so here we are on the main computer and everything is authorized via the iLock 2. And we have Pro Compressor here on a track already. Again, this authorization is coming from the actual iLock2 uh, that, uh, that is plugged in. And we'll get the other Pro Tools session open here in just a second. All right. And just open that up. All right, very good. Let me hit uh, Control Plus on that. And actually, I need to get our inserts open and we'll open up pro compressor here dynamics and pro compressor and there it is that's because we have multiple licenses for the pro compressor all right so we can basically have it open in two places again i'm showing you this just to show you that it works as far as the tos goes you need to read uh, the terms of services uh, for your license but again if we look in the iloc uh, look in the iLock license at manager. We can see all activations and see what's going on here. Okay. Uh, if we go to the Pro Compressor here, you can see that it's activated. Uh, two of three activations are now used. And you can see exactly where they're activated. Okay. One here is on the iLock version two. The other is, of course, uh, in the cloud. Okay. Same for a lot of these. All right. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about iLock Cloud. Let me just close this down. All right, so iLock Cloud is a great, uh, great improvement uh, to iLock. Makes it unnecessary, makes the actual physical key unnecessary. And it's really great when you have multiple activations because of course those multiple activations, things that aren't activated 
will still be in your account. So a lot of these, I still have an extra activation left, meaning I could have uh, an activation on a different computer. So I might want to activate because the computer is of course checked here. I could activate, um, you know, the BF classic here, or I could activate um, any of these, say the pro expander, I could activate it on a third computer and actually activate the computer. So I wouldn't have to use cloud or I wouldn't have to use an eye lock. I could actually just activate it right to the computer. That would be three of three activations, or that would be I mean, technically two of three. And I could still have one license in, you know, in my account or in the cloud that I could activate if I forget to bring an eye lock or I don't activate that computer. Okay. Basically all you need to understand is you must have an available activation if you want to use the cloud. And that's very important for Pro Tools because Pro Tools is only giving us one activation. Okay, you're only going to get one activation for uh, uh, for Pro Tools. So if you want to use the cloud with Pro Tools and it's currently activated on your iLock, which this is here, uh, and most of you I'm sure are only going to have one license, then you make sure that you take this and drop it in your account. You can also right click and just choose the activator, hit the X up here. It's going to do the same thing. But I like to just drop it right into your account that will deactivate it and hold it in your iLock license account or in your iLock license cloud, which you can then log into as we've done here uh, several times already. So it's really great to have this feature because you can really go anywhere and just log in to your iLock license account. Again, you have to have your information to log in. Don't forget that. Uh, log into your account and you can authorize all of your uh, cloud enabled plugins anyway uh, and, and go ahead and use them on any computer. You still, of course, for those who don't know, okay, iLock doesn't, uh, it doesn't install anything. Okay, iLock is just the activation. Some people think they plug in their iLock and they wonder why their, uh, their plugins don't come up. That's because you still have to install the plugin. Okay, so the plugin still has to be installed, but you can log into your account to activate it. All right, so that is iLock Cloud. A lot of options now on iLock. We have our, of course, the actual key, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of software will let you activate to an actual computer. So you don't need the key. And now a lot of software is letting you activate on the cloud by logging in. So that is iLock Cloud.